humans. I hope you're all having a wonderful jam of a day. Today I'm doing an Amy Adams red carpet Golden Globes makeup tutorial. This is the look she wore to the 74th Golden Globe Awards. She looked absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, she was wearing a Tom Ford black sequin dress. She was in Nocturnal Animals earlier this year, which is directed by Tom Ford. And she looked absolutely gorgeous and I just had to recreate her look. Now she was nominated for the sci-fi film Arrival. I have not seen that film. She didn't actually win the award, but she still looked absolutely gorgeous. Now her makeup was done by Steven Solito, who partnered with Sean Takaya for this makeup look. He's worked with Amy since 2007, so they've been working together for a long, long time. He does a lot of editorial shoots as well as red carpet celebrity looks. Now this look was kind of like a coppery, warm brown eye look and then quite a nude lip. And I was just kind of struck by how simple it was, but also how effective, like with that gorgeous black dress. I really liked the sort of contrast of the natural, quite understated makeup look with the gorgeous dark dress. I thought that looked really effective. And yeah, if you would like to see how I achieved this look, please keep watching. Okay, so for eyes, I'm just going to start off with my Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo in creme de nude. And then I'm just going to go over the top with my Makeup Revolution Redemption Palette in Essential Mattes 2, and I'm just going to use this shade here. Okay, now for this look, Steven Salito used the Chantecaille Le Chrome Luxe Eye Duo in Gardens of Marrakech, and he used the shade Lantern, which is like a warm golden brown color. Now, I don't have that, so I'm just going to use my Revlon Colorstay Adventurous Palette, and I'm just going to use this shade here. I'm just going to pack it all over the eye. I'm going to leave it a fairly rounded shape. Sometimes I do kind of like a wing on the outer corner, but I'm just going to leave it quite rounded. And then just with a blending brush, I'm just going to blend the edges. And I'm just going to pack a tiny little bit more onto the outer corners. Just that exact same shade, just darkening it up a little bit. Okay, and then for liner, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim. Now, I don't think she was actually wearing eyeliner. I'm pretty sure she was just wearing false eyelashes and the band was quite thick. But I don't have any false eyelashes that don't go out on the outer corner because I always buy ones that go out on the outer corner because I like that effect. So I'm just going to kind of mimic that effect with mascara and eyeliner because they weren't very long. False lashes, people wear false lashes for different reasons. Sometimes they wear them to add density and make it look like you have more lashes than you actually have and sometimes you use it to lengthen your lashes. In this look he was pretty much just using them to make it look like she had more lashes than she actually does and kind of make the lash line a little bit denser but you can just kind of mimic that same look with just some eyeliner. I'm really just going to put this right at the base of the lashes. And again this is just to mimic the look of more lashes than I actually have. To mimic the look of false lashes. Okay, and then for mascara, I'm going in with my Maybelline Lash Sensation Mascara. Okay, and then there was a slight kind of a blue tint to her eyeliner. So I'm just going to go in with my Revlon Colorstay Passionate Palette and I'm just going to use this dark blue shade just to kind of mattify it a little bit more and kind of add that blue tint. I think maybe he was using a blue liner or something, I'm not really sure. But it was very unnoticeable and very sort of dark, so this should work just as well. Okay, and then on my brow bone, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my Revlon Colorstay Adventurous palette. I'm just going to go in with this shade here, just really lightly, with a tiny bit on the inner corners. Okay, moving on to the face. I'm just going to color correct using my Sleek Color Correcting palette. And for foundation now, Amy Adams is very, very pale, so I'm just going in with my L'Oreal True Match foundation, and this is in the shade 1N. And I'm not wearing any fake tan today as well, so this should be interesting. <laughs> Usually I'm a lot darker than this. But I thought, why not take off my fake tan for an Amy Adams look? So I needed to redo it anyway, so. And then for concealer, I'm just going in with my Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer. And then for powder, I'm just going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Okay, 
Okay, for blush, Steven Salito used the Shantakai blush in Charming, and that's just a cream blush, so I'm going in with my Revlon Charmed Enchantment cream blush. I'm just gonna pat it onto my cheeks and kind of work my way out. So I kind of start in the middle and then kind of work my way out. And I blend it a little bit onto my cheekbones, but mainly focusing on the apples of the cheeks. Okay, now I don't think there was any kind of contouring going on in this look, but I am going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro HD Contour Palette. I'm just going to use this shade here, just on my nose. Just because Amy Adams has a really nice slim nose and mine is not that slim, so I'm just going to kind of mimic that look. Okay, for her, I'm only going to put on a tiny, tiny bit of highlight. I don't think she was really wearing any, but her skin was quite glowy at the same time as being matte. So I think she may have had a little bit of cream highlight on. So I'm just going to go in with my Sleek Precious Metals Highlighting Palette. I'm just going to use this platinum shade here. I'm just going to put this down my nose, onto my cheeks, and then slightly onto my cheekbones, but not going too high up, just kind of keeping it true to my cheekbone. I'm not trying to mimic a higher cheekbone. You know what I mean? Sometimes in certain angles, the light kind of reflected slightly just there. Okay, moving back onto eyes, I'm just going to go in with that exact same shade on my bottom lashes using a pencil brush. And I'm pretty much gonna go the whole way along, but just in the inner corner, I'm going to just go in with no product left on my brush and just kind of blend it in. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Colossal Mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, for brows, so this was quite a warm brow look. I mean, Amy Adams does have red hair, so it's quite a warm look. So I'm just going to go in with this shade just for my Makeup Revolution Redemption Essential Matte 2 palette. It's quite a strong look at the inner corner, or the inner part of the brow. So I'm going to put quite a bit there, which I don't normally do. It's quite an arched look, so I'm just going to brush them up to the side. Okay, now onto lips. On her lips was the Shantikai Luminous Lip Gloss in Coco, but I don't have that, so I'm just going to go in with my NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. And this is a liquid lipstick, and it's in Tea and Cookies. Okay, and then over the top of that, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And then my Rimmel Oh My Gloss Lip Gloss in Crystal Clear. And that is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos just like this one. I do film and celebrity makeup tutorials. Also comment down below. Let me know if you like the look and what you would like to see next. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Get down!